I'm Sarah from The Upcoming. Such a pleasure to speak to you. How does it feel to be on the red carpet tonight? Yeah, <laughs> crazy. Everyone keeps asking that. I'm like, I don't, I don't know. Yeah, it's mad. i um, very super, super grateful to be here. Um, you know, a part of the Biffers, which is incredible. You know, I've, I've watched them for years and I'm a big fan of British independent film. It's, you know, it's our bread and butter. So um, we're just so grateful to be here. Yeah. And what would it mean to you to take home one of these awards tonight? Oh, man, I, you can answer that. Try I just, not to think about it, really. Yeah. <laughs> We're just going to enjoy it. We're just happy it. to be here, man. We're yeah. just happy to be here and, and amongst such amazing talent and incredible films this year. So, yeah, we're just super, super grateful to be a part of it. And for people who aren't familiar with Sweetheart, tell us a bit about the film. And I believe it had quite a personal inspiration behind it for you. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of, I guess, I grew up in a different generation. I grew up sort of in the 90s, so... I guess it was a bit of a, a sort of love letter to my childhood, but also with a kind of Gen, Gen Z, is it Gen Z, what you'd say now? Um, you know, it was really to give something back to the, to the next generation of, of young gay people and, and give them kind of an, uplift, an uplifting story and it's something that I didn't have when I was younger. So, um, yeah, it's all about kind of giving them somebody that they can see themselves reflected on screen, you know. And I think what's interesting about the film is it maybe starts from a different point that other kind of LGBTQ films start at. Like, she's already kind of at a different point, and it's more about you know, her family accepting her and things like that. So is it important to you to show a kind of different story than we've seen before? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I never wanted to make a coming of out, out story. That was never um, my intention. I always kind of felt like what I found most kind of, I guess, uh, joy and humour in was the kind of after the fact you know, um, and I think um, it's really relevant to a lot of young people nowadays and all the nuances that come come after you've come out, you know, it's not just as simple as that, you might have to come out uh, every, every week, every time you meet a new family member or something like that, so I just found a lot of humour, I guess, in, um, in the kind of dysfunctional relationships that, you know, that happen after, after the fact of coming out, you know. And you've got an incredible cast, and you know, it's kind of an ensemble cast to an extent, um, but also Nell Barlow right at the centre of it. So how is it working with all these people? Oh my goodness, amazing. I mean, I've, I've, I've grown up watching Joe Hartley um, from This Is England uh, for years, you know, so to have her as part of my film has been incredible. Um, Nell, she's amazing. It was her first film, so I'm so, so proud of her. She can't be here tonight, but, you know, she's... Um, um, we're, we're both so proud of her and all the work that she's done for us. And Yeah, I mean, we're super happy. All of the cast and crew worked really, really hard. And, and it's a small film and we're just, yeah, we're so, so grateful to be a part of this amazing, amazing night at the Biffers. So, yeah. Um, what was <laughs> no, you've covered it all. I'm great. I'm going to go have dinner. I feel like I've just, like, word spewed. <laughs> what were some of the highs and lows? I mean, you're filming on a, like, British holiday camp. Yeah. Was it freezing at times? It looks like it was a lot of fun. Do you know? It, was it wasn't actually. Fun, it was a lot of fun. Go on, you. You can have the. You have this I'll one. take notes. No, it was fun. We had. We were really lucky with the weather. So we were there in September 2019, and we were there for three weeks. Um, and it didn't rain the whole time we were there until the moment we wrapped. As soon as we yelled yeah. wrap, it rained. So yeah, no, we were really nice. We were it was really great. lucky with the weather actually, yeah. and the, and the people that owned the holiday park. You know, they looked after us really well and let us take over their holiday park for a month. So no, we're super, super and we grateful. All lived together, so it was a really, it was a nice little family, all living in in and out of each other's caravans and and filming as well. We were there to shoot. Not yeah, yeah. <laughs> and just finally, what do you hope people will take away from watching it? Oh man, just like a little bit of joy, you know, like it, we're living in really, really difficult times and, and things can feel very grey a lot, you know, a lot of the time. And I think, you know, if people can just have a little bit of joy for a while and laugh for a few minutes and um, and if some people can see themselves reflected on screen, then, then I'm happy, you know. <laughs> Amazing, it's been lovely to chat to you. Enjoy the evening. Thanks a lot. Cheers.